So I'm Carissa, owner of Grace to Organize. I'm a professional organizer and decluttering helper in Colorado Springs. And I am so happy to be on the Nowhere Project. Grace to Organize, and I am a professional organizer, which means that I help people declutter if they have too much stuff, and also set up organizing systems so they can simplify their life and have good routines and um, clean, organized homes. Very nice. So how'd you get started in that? So organizing is actually something I've always been good at. Um, ever since I was a kid, I was four years old doing grandma's pantry. Just always flowed out of me. And a couple years ago, I was kind of at this point where I'm like, what am I doing with my life? I had a mentor at the time and she said, make a Facebook page for anything you're good at. So I made a childcare page and an organizing page. And within a month, I had two people reach out asking if they could hire me for my organizing services. One of them knew me for 15 years and didn't even know that I had the gift of organizing. And I left her house, she lives in Denver, so I had like this hour drive home and the whole way I was like having this epiphany, like this is what I was created for. Um, and I actually had this thought, you've been hoarding your gift, which I thought was super ironic. And in that moment I realized I have a gift for organizing and I need to share it with the world. Um, so I started reaching out more and what I realized is that a lot of people aren't super organized and they need help, and so that's how Grace to Organize started, and since then I've just seen the need more and more, so. Very nice, and you said two years that you've been doing it? Mm -hmm. Yep, I started in September 2017. Very nice. Yeah. Is there any kind of classes or training or schooling that you took to get it, or is it just kind of a natural talent that you have? So it's actually just a natural talent. Um, I started my business and pretty quickly I realized how different it was organizing for somebody else versus just organizing for myself. So the last two years have felt like a boot camp in learning communication and how to help people better. So it's something I've always been good at, but I'm definitely still honing my skills. But I don't have any specific professional training. Okay. And so do you help uh, people personally in their homes or their personal life or businesses or both? Actually both. So. Um, I offer three services, so I have uh, decluttering, which is kind of like a coaching um, and hands-on experience, organizing obviously, and then I also do productivity coaching, so that's where I've really helped some business owners is to set up their schedule, set up their routine, um, identify some goals and how they can reach them. So organizing takes time and it's all about the habits that we create, and so a lot of people need help with their schedule so that they can keep up the organizing systems in their homes or their offices. So to answer your question, yes, I do help people in their homes and also their businesses. Very nice. Do you have a, do you have a favorite side of things? Like do you, what's your favorite room or what's your favorite aspect of the whole thing? Do you like walking into a business and they have boxes of files or do you like walking into a house and it's just kind of cluttered and you want to help them uh, clean up and kind of get minimalized and we, what gives you the most satisfaction, I guess, is my question. Yeah, um, I love pantries. Like I said, that's how I started out. You know, as a kid, doing my grandma's pantry. So I'm very fond of those just for nostalgic sake, really. Um, but I honestly love people, or love helping people who are ready to make some changes in their life. So people who are overwhelmed with stuff and they're ready to just get rid of and purge it. Um, it's really satisfying to see people let things go. Um, there's emotion in that, that that can come out and it's it's really awesome to see people change. Um, but also it's really satisfying to see the end result, right? So I take before and afters of most of my projects and it's really cool to show the clients like look at all the work you did and look how clean and nice the space is. So I love helping people who are at that stage who are ready to actually let go of some stuff. Um, but I won't turn down most any job. I just love organizing. It gives me energy. It, it's something I'm passionate about. And so I just get excited over all the jobs. In fact, I go to consultations and 
it drives me nuts because I'm like, I just want to do this right now, but um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and did, so do they help you, like do you take them through the organization process? Like so they kind of get a grasp of why this is there and why this is happening so that they're part of it. And then when you're done and you leave, it doesn't just go back to the way it was. Yeah, absolutely. That's actually my preference. So some clients are like, I don't want to think about it. I don't want to be part of this. You just organize it and I'll keep it up, um, which I can totally do. But I, I see a lot more of the maintenance that you mentioned when we work side by side. Um, plus, I like to ask a lot of questions, right? Like, you know, your lifestyle is going to be different than mine. And so I may use this one way, you're going to use it another. And so I have to ask a lot of these like annoying questions like, when do you use this and how do you use it and do your kids use it does your husband use it would it be better in this part of the home and so it's kind of this interactive process where i'm learning about them and how they work what their lifestyle is and then i'm thinking of creative ideas with them and so i'll say oh well i would probably put this here and they would say something like oh that's a great idea but it wouldn't work for me because of xyz and so um that's that's part of the fun of it, right? It's a trial and error process, it's creative. We're bouncing ideas back and forth. Um, and then they are more likely to remember where we put stuff, right? So like if I give them something and I'm like, okay, this is gonna go here, they put it there, they're more likely to remember. Um, although I tell my clients, like, if you can't remember where anything is, just text me and I'll more than likely be able to tell you, so yeah. <laughs> Nice. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so how long, I know there's probably not like an average time for, for a project. I'm sure it depends on what you're walking into, but is there kind of a, a base that it takes you X amount of hours or days or weeks or whatever to get a project kind of finished and organized and get the clients where they need to be? Yeah, um, there's not necessarily an average time for completion. What I have found is that most people have a three hour max where they just tap out. They're like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> like they kind of gloss over and they're like, that was fun, but I'm done for the day. And so I usually book things in three hour slots. Um, and so sometimes one project may take two sessions, but again, it depends on how much stuff is in there, um, how motivated they are to declutter, um, and, and how quickly we work together. So each client's super different. Um, so yeah, it's hard to answer that question, but I do usually book in three hour slots just to make it easy on them. I don't want them to get overwhelmed to the point where they're like, we're never doing this again. <laughs> right? Yeah, that makes sense. You don't want to get burned out. Right. Um, so, so I guess it depends on how many, you're, so you're not concerned on how many days it takes. You just want them to be comfortable with the situation in three hour increments whether it's one every other day or once a week or whatever it is, just to finalize that project. Is that what I'm... Yeah, absolutely. I definitely want to work at their comfort level. Um, some people have a deadline, right? It's like, okay, my daughter's coming in two weeks. She wants to stay in her room. I have all this stuff everywhere. We got to get it taken care of as soon as possible. So I actually try to keep a super open and flexible schedule myself. Um, I don't have any kids. I don't have any pets. Like my business takes up most of my time and so I'll work any of the seven days of the week to try to accommodate people um, and then try to work, you know, as, as quickly as they need me. So, you know, she's coming in two weeks, what can we do as fast as possible? Um, so yeah, I try to fit people in when I, when I can. Right. Yeah. And so you're based in Colorado Springs, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How far? Do you extend your reach? Or do you go to Denver? Do you go to Pueblo? I, I actually go to both. Um, like I said, my first official paid client lives in Denver, so I was happy to travel there. And then most of my family is actually in Denver, so I kind of make like a, a full trip of it, right? So I'll go visit my family and do an organizing job while I'm there, so just to make the most use of my time. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to travel. Very cool. Mm -hmm. I, I saw you do a podcast. Oh yeah, I do. Um, so I really want to add value to people's lives. That's kind of my vision for Grace to Organize. So I like to do that through educating um, people. So I did start a podcast and I have a YouTube channel and a blog and I love using my Facebook. Um, I just want to inspire and motivate people. And you know, even if they're not my clients, 
like I want them to be like, oh, that's a great tip or I'm going to incorporate that. Um, and then even if they are my clients in between sessions, I want them to be encouraged and motivated. So yeah, yeah. I love that. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so as far as a, a, kind of a hot topic, I don't know if it still is, but it was a few months ago or a year ago, but minimalism, mm -hmm. is that something you not necessarily push on your clients, but kind of recommend to them? Like you'll feel better decluttered and is that, so is that something you kind of try to teach while you're with a client? Um, yeah, I don't actually talk about minimal, minimalism a lot, um, but I think there's definitely a desire there because people want to simplify, right? Like we live in a really hectic, fast paced world. We have a lot of stimulation. Um, the fact that people are online a lot, there's a lot of social media input. I think our brains can get so overwhelmed and people want to come home and have peace, right? They want to like de-stress and unwind. And if you look around your home and it feels cluttered or chaotic, that's even more stimulation, right? And so I am passionate about helping people to simplify their lives. I don't often talk about minimalism. There is um, like an extreme there. So like people get rid of everything except for one dish, you know, like, and that's great. That works for some people, but um, I want to be super practical and meet people where they're at. So for some people, minimizing is like I have 20 pots and pans let's get it down to 10 for some people maybe they have five and they want to get it down to one and so I again want to meet people where they're at and help them whatever their vision is so yeah I think it's really popular because again people are desiring that peace and they want to just come home and feel relaxed and not be overwhelmed so. yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. I feel better when I come home to a clean house. Right. <laughs> and Me it's too. not cluttered. It yes. feels great. Um, so I saw you brought a bag. I did. Do you yes. want to show us what's in there? Is that your sure. bag of tricks? Yeah. <laughs> so um, every organizing throw job it right up on the counter. I and... go to, I bring this bag, right? Mm -hmm. So it's funny because it's actually a diaper bag and I bought it because it has 18 <laughs> pockets in it. <laughs> and um, through the two years of organizing, I found that there's little tools and little things that are super helpful when you're in the middle of an organizing job. So the basic things are like scissors and Sharpies, right? But um, <laughs> I have so much stuff in here. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But like, I'll just tell you a few things. I've got like a hole punch. I've got different size Ziploc bags. I've got a screwdriver, a paper cutter. Um, my label maker, okay, so this is like the best tool that I have. Um, so again, talking about people maintaining the systems, labeling is a huge part of that, right? It's like, oh my gosh, where is this supposed to go? I can't remember. That's why we label, right? So it's like, oh, I don't have to think about where this goes in the cabinet. So um, yeah, I've got like laminating sheets, push pins, rubber bands, command hooks, sticky notes, stapler. I told you I got a lot of stuff. The list goes on and on. Zip ties. Um, I like to like have these handy things, right? So it's really fun when we're in the middle of a project and like we need to solve a problem. You know, organizing is really creative. And so they're like, oh, I can't get this to work or I can't close this or whatever it is. And I'm like, oh, I have a thing. And I pull it out and they're like, oh, you're amazing. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. Like, I want to be super prepared, right? And I don't want people to be like, oh, I don't have that. Or hold on, let me try to go find it, right? Like in waste time during the session. So people pay me hourly for my time and I want to use use that to the best of my ability. And so um, even just having these things handy saves us time. And it's just fun for me. I like to just be the lady with the cool tools and <laughs> it's, it's awesome. So Very yeah. Cool. How do people get a hold of you? If they want their, their house decluttered or their life organized, how do people find you? Yeah. So, um, if you actually go to my website, that's a great place to start. You can read about me, get to know some more about me. Um, and you can also book a free consultation through my website. So that's grace, the number two, organize.com. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see my calendar and you can book that consultation any time of day. Um, so that's, that's a great place to start, but you can also uh, call or text me. My phone number is 719-396-1965. And then also email works great. I have that on my phone. So that's 
grace, the number two organize at gmail.com. Very cool. So that's it. Actually, I do have one more question for you. Okay. Um, you mentioned a consultation, a free consultation. I saw that on your website. Yeah. What does that include? Like, what, what is that all about? Yeah, so um, a consultation is a great way to start. Um, organizing and decluttering is such a personal, intimate service. And so you're inviting me into your home, your space, with your stuff, your family, your dog, right? And so I want you to get to know me before I just show up at your house to, to organize your stuff. And so that's why I always offer a free consultation. It's usually about 30 minutes. Um, I'll show up and answer any of your questions, uh, but really I want to see the spaces too. So you're going to show me around the areas that you need the most help in. I'm going to give you some ideas. We're going to talk about maybe some supplies that you might want to consider purchasing. We're also going to talk about, oh, maybe it'll take this long to do the project. Um, from there, we can go ahead and book the services for a later time. So again, just a great place to start so you can meet me in person. Awesome. Sounds great. Um, that's it. We're all set. Thanks for being on the Nowhere Project. Mm -hmm.